Welcome to XR template tutorial lesson number 59. In this XR Web Designer MX Premium version 8 tutorial, we're going to talk about how to use the new feature for the document pop up link checker. And just like the name says, it's going to allow you to check your links before you publish your website. It's going to allow you to change it or remove it. So that's the benefit of using the document pop up link changer uh, new feature in version 8 of XR Web Designer. And if you haven't already upgraded, I highly recommend that you watch our upgrade tutorial on how to upgrade to the new version or purchase it if you're purchase, purchasing it for the first time. And then you'll be able to follow along with these uh, new tutorials that we're creating. So if you haven't already, go ahead and start a blank new document in XR Web Designer MX Premium. And after you start your blank new document, go ahead and select the rectangle tool from your toolbar. And once you select that tool, go ahead and draw a rectangle in your workspace. And then right click, go to Web Properties. And then we're going to go to, well, it's already set to the Link tab, so you don't have to actually go to it. And we're going to go to the Link To option within this dialog panel. And once you select the Link To um, option, you're going to, oh, actually not that one. I apologize. It's this one, actually, Link To Web or Email Address. We're not linking to something inside our document, so we're going to go to link to web or email address. And when you go to that option, you're going to type in whatever .com you want to link to. In this case, I'm going to set it to google.com. And I'm going to assume that I want to link to that search engine website. And then I'm going to hit the OK key because that's the only changes that I want to make. And once I make those changes, let's go ahead and select the selection tool in our toolbar. And if we select this rectangle, you'll notice that it brings up this uh, document pop-up link changer. This is the new feature I'm talking about. So let's let's click in a blank space in our document just in case yours didn't show up correctly. And you'll see that it doesn't show the link on it. It's when you select the object, like now, if I select the object, it'll show the document pop-up link changer feature. And as you can see, it shows that we link to google.com and it automatically adds in the HTTP forward slash forward slash. So don't worry about that. As long as you see the www.google.com, then you know you link to the website properly. So you'll see that again, you'll see that it has that google.com set there and then you have the option to change or remove. Now let's, let's click on the option that says change. You'll see that it immediately brings up our dialog and it shows us what we're currently linked to which is www.google.com and we can change it easily to another site like maybe we want to make it Bing so www.bing.com which is the Microsoft search engine hit OK and then you'll notice that it doesn't show that document pop-up link changer you first have to click click in a blank workspace area and then click back on that rectangle and when you click back on that rectangle, it now shows the document pop-up link changer uh, feature. And you'll see that it now says www.bing.com. Now, in the past, if you wanted to change this, you would have to right-click on your object, then go to Web Properties. So it's a little bit longer of a process versus now all you have to do is click in a blank area in your workspace, click on the document, and then you can simply click change and it's much more much more efficient it may not seem that way but trust me it's much more efficient just to click that change button rather than right clicking and then looking for the option in your menu so I would highly recommend using this feature and if you wanted to remove it even uh, it's a lot more faster if if you wanted to remove a link from your document in the past you would have to right click go to web properties then you would have to remove it like delete it you know backspace if you want to do it that way and that's how you would delete it and then you would hit the OK key and then you wouldn't have a link but let's go ahead and, and go back to web properties and let's add back google.com as our our link and I just hit enter I'm gonna do that again because I know I did that kinda fast go to web properties when you type in google.com just hit OK and you'll be done so now it should be linked to google.com and as you can see it is indeed linked to google.com now to remove it 
rather than right clicking and going to web properties and then re, you know deleting it and then hitting OK you could just simply hit the key remove and now that link is removed within a matter of like one second so much more efficient so let's go back to web properties and you'll see that indeed that link is removed it is no longer there but I'm gonna go ahead again and I'm gonna add it back I'm gonna call it google.com again and I'm gonna hit OK and if I click in the blank workspace area and click on the rectangle the document pop-up link changer comes up and you'll see that uh, you also can click on the link whereas before we didn't have this feature so if I click on this link it's gonna actually bring up my web browser and show me what that website looks like that I'm linking to and it may take a little bit of time because as I said my computer is pretty old but just bear with me for one second and as you can see it actually brought up google.com so now you can test your links without having to go to you know file preview uh, file preview website you just simply click on the, the object that you want to preview in terms of the link and you click on the link and it would take you to that website to make sure that you're linked properly to the website that you typed in for your linking so hopefully that makes sense and you understand the value in this new feature much more efficient in terms of changing your document links and it's definitely going to save you time just think of it like this if you save five seconds you know for every link that you create and you have a hundred links you know that's 500 seconds so I mean that may not seem like a lot but over time that will grow by a large margin and the time savings that you'll be able to regain will be very very beneficial and that will be extra time that you'll be able to allocate to working on your clients website and it's just a, it's just a much better experience you know being able to see what every object is linked to is a lot better because you can simply click on the object see what is linked to if it's set correctly then you move on to the next object rather than having to right click go to web properties and then check and see if it's linked to the right thing that is it it's probably gonna save you a lot more than just a few seconds it's probably gonna save you a lot more um, time than that per per object that you have linked but I'm just giving you an example of you know how it could save you time but uh, let's go ahead and, and end this tutorial I, I think that I've pretty much given you insight into how to use a document pop-up link checker feature and if you have any questions please send me a message on YouTube if you have a request for a new tutorial uh, send me a, a message and I'll do my best to assist you with that don't forget to subscribe don't forget to you know share and embed our video give us thumbs up favorite it any kind of way that you can give us feedback even leave a comment and help us get these videos out there uh, thanks again for viewing this tutorial and I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials have a great day yeah.